Jack Fisher, Sam Forbes, thanks very much for joining us on Australia in Space TV here at the 40th Space Symposium and we're at the Intuitive Machines stand here. Uh, look, thanks very much and we're going to start with you Jack, uh, All right. former astronaut, well you know, there's no former astronaut, you're always an astronaut. Yeah, and you bet. <laughs> absolutely. And then we'll bring in Fugro in terms of one of the collaborators here. But yeah, Intuitive Machines uh, and your role and the audience would love to know uh, a little bit about your missions as well. But yeah. You um, bet. Uh, so I uh, grew up flying planes and testing planes and was an astronaut, uh, spent six months on the space station, um, went back to the Space Force and then retired, ended up at this great company. Um, we're a space technology company. Yep. Uh, most folks know our lunar, as um, lunar access with yes. our landers, um, but then we're also in data services, so we have a contract to put the COM navigation uh, timing around the moon so yeah. you can navigate there uh, cheaply, efficiently, and communicate, bring that data down, uh, as well as infrastructure. And one of those examples is you want to have the things in place, the, the railroads and the choo-choos, so that you can get uh, uh, all the materials where you need them to be. And the first big part of that is the lunar terrain vehicle. Absolutely. And we are partnered with a lot of folks from Boeing to Michelin to Fugro uh, and Ciro as well. Uh, so we're we're very tied in with uh, uh, the Australian uh, space economy, uh, particularly with Fugro and, and Sam's team. Beautiful. Sam Forbes, Fugro Spark. Introduce us to Fugro Spark, I think, and then that you'll uh, explain your role here uh, with Intuitive Machines. Yeah, sure. Ch uh, thanks, Chris. Um, you know, I mean, you know, when it comes to space, you know, Australia is still kind of nascent and emerging, but you know, remote operations or um, robotic operations is a uh, you know, pretty well established capability in Australia. We do it in the maritime sector, we do it in the mining sector, and ultimately we've been trying to build on that capability and apply what Australia does well in remote robotic operations and, and bring that to the global space economy. And I suppose what's the uh, sort of touch points that you have from Perth, uh, Western Australia, uh, during the missions themselves? So yeah, I mean, we've been extremely fortunate it to be on this kind of ride in the background with intuitive machines for sort of the last five years watching them grow watching the incredible technology that they've been uh, delivering and right now we, we shadowed their intuitive machines one mission I am one and we we're fortunate for I am two to play a, a slightly bigger role sending commands from Australian soil to that lunar lander which is an incredible experience for yep. Australians and and equally Jack mentioned uh, the lunar orbiters you know we're hopefully going to play a role in lunar orbit orbiting missions and equally supporting these guys on what is the most incredible moon mission on the car right now absolutely and I'm um, a former Perth boy Jack too so the fact that uh, you do link <laughs> off to, to Perth is, is amazing um, I suppose maybe a bit more about your specific role as an advisor but technical role as well um, so I'm a, a senior VP of production and operations so I yep. build them and fly them Got it. Uh, so when we're talking about operations um, and how we work with the Fugaro uh, uh, control center um, which is nicer than ours. It's not really <laughs> fair. Uh, it, it's it's just going to be a, a huge multiplier for our ability to, especially once we get that constellation, um, to have a follow the sun operation. Yep. So you know you don't have uh, Sam staying up all night or me staying up all night. We can actually work normal hours and have 24/7 coverage of, of this constellation, which will take a lot of work. Um, because we're, we, we foresee um, not just cislunar traffic, but also NASA um, science missions uh, that are existing now. The deep space network and its capabilities are quite limited um, as, as all of the missions right. grow and you need more capability, which we think our team uh, can provide. Uh, so we're excited about it. Can well, I just throw yeah, some kind of a little bit of detail there? So this is mainly for the Australians that, that might not know. Intuitive Machines won a big portion of the NSNS contract, which is like the LTV, NASA commercializing some of their deep space network. And this team is responsible for putting up that constellation around the moon on behalf of NASA. And that's the mission that we're going to be supporting Wonderful. in addition to LTV with, with Well, IM. one of my questions was the roadmap. You've got IM3 uh, as well. I take it this is a long-term partnership uh, for Fugro Spark as well, so long-term opportunities. Absolutely. So uh, just to put it in context, we have IM3 and IM4. We're bidding other yep. missions. Those are relatively small missions, yep. um, like $100 million uh, for end-to-end, -end, build it, fly it, run it, give it the data. Um, for NSNS that Sam mentioned, that's $4.8 billion. It is a, a multi-award 
uh, task orders yep. that once we build our capability, we can then go after those task orders. And it's very large. Uh, so it is it is more of a focus of our, our future. Um, and then also the autonomy. And you know, one thing that Sam mentioned is, is Australia is great at autonomy, at robotic operations, at resources. Um, and that's the future of the moon. That is the the Wild yeah. West, the new new frontier of where resources are, and getting them home. It's not going to happen t- tomorrow, but it will happen. And Australia is the perfect partner for uh, getting all yeah. of those uh, resources back back home. We're supposed to finish off. Uh, it's quite exciting here on the 40th Space Symposium. Uh, I might start with you, Sam. In terms of what are your takeaways here so far? Uh, this is obviously not your first uh, symposium either, but yeah, it's a very exciting sector and just increasingly so year by year. Oh, look, I mean, this conference is amazing. It's always incredible to be here. You know, it's incredible to have a Fugro logo on That's one of the right, most incredible yeah. lunar missions on the cards. But I think, as Jack talked about, you know, we're starting to see this shift in gear. You know, we're talking from day long lunar missions to year long, multi year long lunar missions, resource extraction. Yeah. This, this market, this economy is changing significantly, whether it's commercial or national security. So it's going to be a wild ride for the next few years. And uh, Jack, I suppose, again, where you see the industry now, uh, I always think, it, as you say, you've got Fugro, you've got your own logo in the background. I get excited enough as it is. Uh, but yeah, I always wish I was a bit younger as well. Uh, but where do you see the industry now, the opportunities here, the momentum, I suppose, and also the international partnerships? It's uh, critical. It's critical. Um, the key word you mentioned was momentum. Yeah. Uh, if you came even a couple years ago, you would see a small section that is uh, space technology specially designed for the military, for commercial, uh, for civil, for NASA. Um, now it's just one sea of technology with those coincident missions and, and overlapping technologies. Uh, the partnerships are growing because the speed at which we are moving is so fast. If you are not working together and you are not seeing how you can apply that technology in different ways, you will be left behind. Absolutely. And uh, you know, we're very proud to, to, to be working with, with Australia and, and certainly Fugro uh, so that we can move faster in what is, I think, the most exciting time in the history of humanity for space. We are moving fast. Nice. A nice way to finish off. Jack Fisher, or Two Fish, uh, thank you very much for joining us on Australia and Space TV. And Sam Forbes with Fugro Spark from Perth with the logo in the background uh, on this lunar vehicle. Thank you so much again and enjoy the rest of the 40th Space Symposium. Fantastic. Thank you.